it's emo- it's emotional because really I you know it was I had nothing and it changed my life like that so this is truly one of the most valuable interviews that I've ever done on my YouTube channel imagine doing three hundred thousand dollars in your first year as a brand new agent closing a deal every single week but the caveat is after you just moved to a new country you have no car you have no cell phone and you don't know a single individual in the city that you just lived in today it's my honor to bring on lily valario who talks about her incredible journey of yes closing a deal every single week in her first year without knowing a single individual and she shares how you can do that as well and the craziest part is every single part of it was free. So in this video, we not only break down what you can do to build massive momentum today without having to have a single dollar invested to also the journey that she's gone on in order to finally get comfortable in front of the camera, which she was petrified of. And this incredible story that is going to relate to you on so many levels. I rarely see anybody talking about this kind of stuff on YouTube. So if you're struggling right now, and you want to make sure the next 12 months are the best you've ever had, this is going to be the greatest use of your time today. Now, two quick things before bringing on Lily. Number one, I'm going to link all of her social media content below so that you can use it as a reference for your own and see what we're talking about throughout the course of this conversation. And the second thing is I'm going to link her calendar link below in case you would like to have her direct help to take your business to the next level because she's now been doing over half a million GCI for multiple years as one of the top producers in her entire market and she is a wealth of knowledge but has a heart of gold and loves to help people take their business to the next level so without further ado let's bring on lily valario and talk to you about the journey that you can get started with today to completely change the course of your real estate business forever what's going on guys welcome back to another exciting video where today we've got on a very very special guest lily valario who has an incredible story that I think is going to relate to a lot of you, which is starting with nothing and building mass momentum. And I can't wait to unpack this because again, I think based on where the market is now, a lot of people are struggling and a lot of people don't have a lot, but they don't quite know what to do. And I know that this is going to give you a tactical roadmap of exactly what you can do. So Lily, really excited to have you on here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, guys. Um, um, again, this is going to be pretty powerful because just hearing the fact that you, and, and I'd love to unpack your story, but coming here with nothing, doing $300,000 in your first year back many years ago, which would be, I don't even know how much today is an unbelievable achievement. So to set the tone, why don't we first kind of unpack your story? Because you've got a pretty powerful story about how you even came here and what that first year looked like. Yeah, Mike, well, um, as I was telling you, I really had just been, uh, came from Colombia, South America, and and um, moved here to um, to Maryland and didn't know anybody at all. I, I, I didn't know, I didn't have a car, I didn't have a cell phone. We we're just, you know, um, we were one, one car, of course, if my, my husband had a car, but that was it. I didn't have anything. I was at home with the kids, um, pregnant with my third and just trying to figure out what what can i do to you know what can i do to help my family so i had no idea about real estate and nothing at all i mean i, I again i was fresh off the boat from columbia like didn't didn't know anybody here and um except my family but i was i wanted to see like okay i'm, I'm renting this townhouse and i wanted to see how can you know how can i i buy a house so my neighbor was actually a loan officer he came over and he said to me, um, well, Lily, you know, he was doing his numbers. Again, we didn't even have credit, but we didn't know anything. So we, we weren't even prepared, but we had that conversation. And he um, told me, how long do you want to stay here in this townhouse? I said, well, I think probably like three years. I, I have like high expectations. I mean, I don't even know why I even said three years because I had no money, no income. How was I thinking already that this is my first house and in three years I'm going to buy another one when I probably don't even qualify for this one. But um, anyways, he explained, well, then I don't think it's a good idea to buy. Um, back in the day of 20 years ago, the market wasn't appreciating like it did, you know, how it ha- obviously how it did in, during the pandemic. But he said, uh, because your closing costs are going to be about at least like six, seven percent when you sell. 
So, you know, we're talking about, it was like about $300,000. So what, um, so anyways, he said, you're, it's not going to appreciate that much. And you're going to be underwater. And I said, where does that money go to? He said, well, your realtors is 6%. And then you have, you know, transfer and recordation taxes. And I'm like, 6%, what's a realtor? I mean, I didn't even, I had never even, I'm like, what's a realtor? Well, they, and he explained everything and he broke it down and he said, 9,000 here, 9,000. I'm like, how do you become a realtor? <laughs> and that's how it all started. And he told me, he's like, well, you get a class, you do this, you just, I'm like, I, I can do that. I can do that. So um, I had, I was pregnant, like at my last, my last uh, stages or whatever, um, had my son and immediately got into real estate school. My son was not even two months old and I was studying, I was in class. Um, my grandma helped me cause I couldn't afford a nanny. So my grandma was like, I'll help you pay for a nanny because I really believe that this is going to be great for you. So, um, my grandma, um, paid for the nanny and yep, it's, emo it's emotional <laughs> because really I, you know, it was, I had nothing and it changed my life like that. So the funny thing is, um, Mike, so I got my license and my first month <laughs> without knowing anybody, I was making $25,000. So I was like this person who has nothing. We're like, we're living on $2,500. How, how am I making 25,000 every month? I couldn't believe it. I was like, I'm winning the lottery every month. And that's my story. <laughs> that is, that's so wild. Even just yeah. to, to see, you know, your perspective of hearing this, you know, opportunity that you've never even heard of before and just having the confidence to say, well, I can do that and, and going after it and chasing yeah. that, you know, that dream and that opportunity and doing whatever it took to, to build momentum. So, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be curious as to how you start with nothing and then how you start building that income. So what the heck did you do in your first months, in your first year to start with no money, no influence, no sphere, no content, no nothing. And to be able to get to the point of doing multiple six figures, like how the heck does that happen? So it's it's funny because um, okay, so then when I get my license, I'm so excited and just like now I got I got emotional. And I remember they had like the tissues, like when you were doing the PSI test, they had tissue paper because people, you know, it's a hard test, and you know, for some people, and um, and people cry because a lot of people we get into this, we're, we're, you know, a lot of them are like me, like I need to change my life. And so when I pass the test, I'm crying because I'm like, this is the beginning of the rest of my life. But then I'm like, okay, so what do I do? And so I went to the closest real estate office um, to where I lived, which was um, White Kurt Realtors. And um, I go in there and I'm like, okay, so I got my license. And so I, again, I didn't know how it was, and then, you know, the the bro or the manager starts telling me about the fees. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like to initiate. So I didn't have that either. Um, I was like, okay, but she was, she said, you know what, Lily, I, I see something in you. I've never done this in my life. I've been doing this for 40 years, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna upfront you the money. You can pay me with your your first sale. I, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, so to help me with, you know, my associate G card, the, the association that you have to belong to, and then the MLS. And she gave me a cubicle, like we had cubicles. I'm like, okay. So I just started calling everybody I knew. Just started calling, calling everybody on my um, contact list. And and that's really how it started. So then also I would, when I would go out, um, I would just talk to everybody. If I went to Best Buy to get, you know, or to when I got my first phone, like I was telling you, I didn't have my phone. I went to Sprint, get my first phone. I start talking to the guy who's helping me with the, with the um, phone. And then if I had, I got, went to Best Buy and got my first GPS and start talking to everybody. It just, that's what I was doing. I would just talk to everybody. Um, the waiter at the table, I would, you know, talk to him, leave him a business card when we paid the check. And that's how, um, I just started getting, getting, um, referrals and it was, it just really was like a snowball. And then the other thing, um, Mike, so once I started, once I started doing that, people would tell me like the waiter or the bartender or whoever would say, well, I don't, I don't have money. You know, I don't have uh, savings. I mean, I, I qualify, but I don't have savings. And so a lot of realtors back in the day, cause the market was also in 2004, it was um, very active. If they didn't have competitive, if they didn't have money, a lot of realtors didn't want to use them because they didn't want to negotiate closing help. So I was like, if they had no money, I would say, I can help you. I can still help you. Back then there was a hundred percent financing. And then I would negotiate closing costs with the sellers. So I was taking 
the buyers that nobody that other people didn't want to spend their time in helping and so i got into that market and suddenly just it was just re- my phone my phone was ringing every single day and i was selling a house every week but this happened almost immediately mike like immediately i was it, it was just yeah it just happened like almost overnight i, I couldn't believe it that's why i was like I, I can't believe i'm holding this check like i can't believe this is this real and then i had some other under contract i'm like I'm like, you know, oh my gosh, and this is what's coming next month. And then the next month everybody was calling me. So then my pipeline was just, it was packed. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know if this is something, you know, it's just a one year thing. So I just kept at it, kept doing what was working, but also um, adapting because there's also changes just like there is today. I mean, this is, it's just crazy. You can't, what worked last year might not work this year anymore. And you have to be constantly learning, constantly adapting, and um, I guess that, that's what, uh, that's what I, that was, I guess, the my, the path to my success. That is absolutely incredible. And I, I think just, you know, the whole concept of not being a secret agent is so important because a lot of people get their license and they're like, well, what do I do? And, and you know, just the concept of all that you need to do is get yourself known and talk to anybody and everybody because you never know, like, there's, you know, I've never really shared this story, but before I got my license, I met up with basically the number one producer in my entire market. Um, absolute legend here locally. And I asked him, I'm like, John, how how the heck did you build your business? And he's like, he just said exactly what you did. I didn't care if I was in the line at the bar, I was talking to people, giving the business cards. If I was on an airplane, if I was at a restaurant, like I would talk to anybody and everybody. And that concept, that mindset, it's so powerful because now you're in a beautiful position to be able to rely on repeat and referral clients and we'll get into your nurturing strategies. But in order to build that, you have to talk to people. And so many people are, are nervous. And you know, if you're, if you're getting started, you have to get outside of that comfort zone. But I think one of the really important concepts that you talked about is adapting to the market and also finding the opportunity. And I think that's one of the best ways as a new agent to be able to differentiate yourself from other people is find the opportunity that others aren't willing to capitalize on. You know, in modern days time, it might be leveraging more video content. Back in that time, it is, you know, it's, it's, and for me, like when I got started, the market was terrible and it was all about additional exposure, drone, all these things that others weren't willing to do, but it all stemmed from finding that opportunity. So I think that's that's absolutely incredible. And I'd love to kind of know what the, the the coming years after that looks like in terms of being able to scale because repeat and referral is where a lot of people struggle. And I think you're in this position where you started to build your database, but I see a lot of people that will have maybe a good first year and then they plateau and then they regress and they go downhill because they kind of get in the momentum of talking to people and they're starting to build their database. But we all know the secret to scaling a real estate business is repeat and referral. And there's so many people that don't keep in touch. So what did it look like for you to get all these people to your database, but Mm -hmm. then keep in touch with them so you could start to build this longevity Mm -hmm. with your business? Absolutely, Mike. Well, that was actually um, something that I failed to do, thinking that, okay, well, you know, I did such a great job and I remember them. I remember their kids and I would take notes also like, okay, so Mike Sherrard, his wife's name is blah, blah, blah. He has two kids in 2004, they were two and one. And, you know, so that way I kind of know when you call me again, okay, we talked in 2004, that was 20 years ago. So his one-year-old must be 20, 21. So doing that, but it was really, I did not have a a really good um, system. So I did lose a lot of of business and I realized where I'm like, okay, I'm going to work on my database. And then when I go back to the MLS, I was like, sometimes I would see like a house that I sold already under contract and you know, nothing stings more than seeing yeah. that, especially when you did a great job, you remember them, you're like, well, how can, what happened? It, it's your own fault. So I said, I gotta fix that. And, and I did, and I just started, and now every, my clients, every month they get a piece of, of my email, like, or I'm sorry, a piece of um something in the mail. So I send out 
I started doing newsletters, which was really good um, just to keep them, you know, not, of course, it's easier to do it by email, but people unsubscribe and people mm -hmm. usually if it's a mail, something that comes from somebody, you know, you're going to open it, even if you're kind of already know what it's going to be about. And you kind of open it, even if you throw it away, but you're still there, like they, they're remembering you and they know that you're remembering them. So um, by sending them something. So I was doing that, the market um, newsletters, and then I just started switching it up. But the important, I sent some other stuff um, in, in the mail and then um, postcards in the mail, but everything is monthly. So it's consistently, all of my clients get something from me a month in addition to um, new email newsletters, in addition to birthdays. So I have all of my clients' birthdays immediately as soon as we're um, under contract, they go, their birthdays go on my in my database, but it also goes to my phone. So when I wake up in the morning, I look at my phone, I look at my calendar, and I'll see all the birthdays on top. So sometimes I'll call, sometimes I'll text, sometimes I'll do a voice note. That, that was now my favorite, like a real, maybe not call, me personally on my birthday, I'm just so, I have so much going on. I prefer text. I prefer everybody send me a text and I enjoy them and I love it. Then the phone call, because then I, my whole birthday is going to be on my phone and I don't, I want to enjoy it. So I'm thinking that maybe people are like that. So what I do is um, I started with the messages, but a lot of times I just do an actual voice note. So they play it and they can see, hear my voice. Hi, Mike, it's Lily. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you and your family and whatever I want to say that comes naturally from my heart. I don't have a script. I, I'm just really naturally saying happy birthday. And I really remember everybody. So um, so I guess that that's what, what I've been doing to work my sphere. But then of course, when we're talking about adapting, that was not enough. I was like, mm -hmm. I have to do more. This does work. <laughs> Excuse me, Mike. But I have to do um, videos. So that's when Oh my gosh, Mike, that was the <laughs> hardest thing. I, you have no idea. And now that I think about it, gosh, I kind of am a crybaby. I'm not really a crybaby, but now I, I'm thinking about it. I just cried. I told you about my real estate when I the, 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 that I cried when I got my license. Um, but the video thing, when it started about a year and a half ago, I started doing videos, but I wasn't consistent. So when the pandemic happened, I started doing like, oh, you know, you can do the forbearance and this and that and kind of videos like that. But it, there was no consistency. Um, when I started following you and and re seeing like, OK, we ha I have to do video. I have to do video. So before I knew anything about EXP, I was already like seeing your videos, watching your videos on YouTube that's another thing that's important like developing your skills developing like you you can't just think that everything that you did is going to always continue to work even if it did you have you have to be adapting so i dedicate at minimum two hours a day in my in the morning early in the morning at um learning something like okay what's going on with instagram the algorithm is it you know five hashtags 20 hashtags what works google my business TikTok, like all that kind of understanding the new technology ai what can i use it for how can it help me so i'm always doing um that every morning i i lost my train of thought but i was going to say is i had to do something with the videos so yeah. i'm in the i'm in the kitchen i'm like i i don't know i'm so stressed out with this video and my son my stepson was like lily why don't you i mean you know everything and and let me just just do a video and talk about what you know i mean you're brilliant and everything and i'm because he's you know he, listening to me for the past 10 years also talking about real estate doing you know all this you know everything he's like you're you know everything there's not a there's nothing you don't know um, but i can't do it I can't, he's like i'll help you and i'm like oh, i'm just so frustrated <laughs> i'm just so frustrated that i have to do this why like why is everything changing but it does, you know, life is not easy. Nothing's easy. You gotta, you gotta work hard. You gotta put in the hours. You gotta uh, put in the effort. You gotta adapt to change. You gotta be willing to change. So that's what I did. And he said, I'll edit them for you. Just do this. Talk about what you know. I'll give you ideas. And um, and it's funny because I'm like, can you watch Mike Sherrard's, um, <laughs> to, to all, that was before, like, I always said, you know, you, you were selling it. So I'm like, I'll buy it. And you learn from, you learn it. And then you, you know, post it for me because again, I, again, I wasn't willing to, I was kind of adapting, but at the same time, I don't want to learn it. Maybe you can do it, but with that being said, it is important for you to may, maybe not do it, but you have to kind of know a little bit or, or be willing to learn like with your tutorials, your videos and everything, and then um, start doing it. And then of course you start getting busier and you 
delegate and you have somebody else do it, which is what I do now. But um, so yeah, so I got into videos and that has added a lot of income to my to my already, you know, my my business. It's it's increased my business and obviously increased our income. That's that's so yeah. incredible. There's so many things to, to unpack there, and, and we'll, mm -hmm. we'll we'll come back to content because I think that's a, a really relatable journey that so many people are are really going to resonate with. But you know, coming back to your monthly touch points with your clients, you know, nurturing people, and and I think it's a beautiful thing for you to even acknowledge that you were dropping the ball in certain areas because a lot of people don't want to come to grips with the fact that, Hey, maybe I'm not doing the best job at keeping mm -hmm. in touch with people. And, and why did that client work with somebody else? Well, maybe you should take ownership of that. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, you had the maturity to do that. One of the things I think people are going to be curious about is you talked about birthdays, you talked about holidays on the other touch points, what type of stuff would you be sending people? Uh, was it market reports? Was it, you know, activity that you've like, what did that look mm -hmm. like? Just so people have a bit of an idea. Okay. So when I was doing my newsletters, it was, um, it was just a, like a four page newsletter with what's going on with, with the market. Um, yes, I did use like chat GPT and then, you know, tweaked it myself and what's happening here in Maryland and, um, and just kind of finding a, a topic that I think would be interesting. I did that for a year to ev every client, you know, and also a testimonial. So I, I, you know, I'd have it designed and it was going out monthly. The first week of every month, everybody was getting that. But then I started realizing like, okay, it's, it's good, but I, I felt like it wasn't really like valuable or interesting. Um, for me, I'm not saying that that doesn't work. I just, maybe just myself said, I kind of want to tweak it or, or change it up a little bit. So I send out these magazines um, that have, you know, my picture on the outside, on the inside cover. It has, you know, a, a, you can put whatever you want, like, and it's like Mike, you know, good morning or hi, Mike, you know, he, thank you for whatever you want to say. And then it has tear out cards. And then you also get the back cover of the magazine and the inside cover of the magazine. Um, they're called Reminder Media. If anybody is, is interested, Reminder Media, it's about four dollars um a magazine and i send that out to all my clients every other month and then between so and then uh, between those two months i sent i send a postcard so either if it's thanksgiving or whatever it is or a market update or a testimonial or a, this month are sold but just keeping so everybody gets something so the magazine every other month and then in between a postcard so every month they are getting something so that i started just doing about um a few months ago because i realized it, it doesn't really it's not really the information it's just kind of um like staying like being in front of them and i figure the magazine has a longer shelf life than the newsletters because i'll get it i'll read it and i throw it away but i still remember that person you know i still see it you know i'm like oh you know so that's what and Mike, it's helped a lot. I get people texting me like, oh, I love the magazine or like happy Thanksgiving to you too, Lily. I got this or, you know, but it's, I, I can tell, I can tell because there's a lot of um, clients like that I haven't talked to maybe in five years and, and they're just calling me out of like that. It, that was not happening because I didn't, I wasn't nourishing them. So I would, some people are just loyal by nature and they'll though they will of course i still have referrals but i wasn't maximizing that clientele that i had that you know that we know each other like why am i not work why i'm not like nurturing that i mean it's just it, it was just ridiculous that i didn't do it for so many years and then started doing it consistently so everything Whoa. is consistent it's consistency 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 same with the videos consistency everything so yeah, that's, that's, you know, you said it beautifully, because that's where I wanted to take the conversation next is before diving into Google, which I think is going to be a, a beautiful conversation. Talk about the mindset that comes with committing to that process of the mailers, the touch points, things like that, because I think where a lot of agents go wrong is they, they're going to say, okay, $4, they're going to calculate how many people and they're going to be like, oh my God, uh, well, I'm going to try this for three months. And if it doesn't work out, then, then I guess, you know, well, I'll go. So exactly. I'll go into something else. Like, mm -hmm. what is your mindset? What was your commitment to saying, Hey, I, I mm -hmm. got to do this for an extended period of time. Even if I don't see a deal coming from it, knowing that one day, like, what did that look like for you? 
So, um, Mike, the, I had somebody, so before I jo joined EXP, and that's a, another conversation about why EXP is so awesome, I had a coach mm -hmm. and um, very expensive. So yeah. I was paying, um, there are different levels of the coaching, but it was like $18,000 a year. So mm -hmm. um, amazing coach, absolutely, like really, really good. So they already know like kind of what, what works. And obviously that's the value. That's why you, you, you pay for coaching. Um, it, they were telling me about, so my, my coach was telling me, Lily, where does your business come from? You need to nourish that. This is what I do. And, and he was telling me all these other people with like proven that this is a, this is proof to work, but it's proven to work. You cannot, but you have to do it consistently. It has to be every month. And, um, don't think about the money. I mean, don't, it, yeah, because it is, it, it's expensive. Don't think about the money. Um, just do it consistently. So um, I I just said, okay, I'm going to have to, you know, this is, well, in my situation, it was different because I was already making money, but like, how do I, you know, I'm already selling. This is a few years ago. Um, I just started, you know, okay, I'm going to do this, you know, take a, a portion of, of my, of my, income or commission and put that aside for, for marketing, for nourishing my clients. So that's where I put my money because you can put in another stuff. I just don't, you can do it. You can do Google ads. You can do Facebook ads. You can do Instagram ads for yourself. Now, obviously when you're marketing a home, you do that to, to sell the house, um, you know, to put money into the marketing of your listing, but I wasn't doing it to market. I wasn't putting money to market myself. So I wasn't buying leads or trying to generate leads. I was, um, I just decided to put it into this. So there's a lot of things that work. I mean, there's a lot of things that work for some people. It's generating leads, like, you, you know, doing catchy and appealing ads that make people want to click and call you and, and you get those cold leads and convert them and, you know, follow up and convert them. Of course that works too. But I decided, I said, you know what? Yes. These are people that like, know, and trust me or know, like, and trust me. Why not? Instead of trying to find you know, these people from, you know, from online that, that don't know, pay for, you know, for leads, why not use that money? Cause you have to be spending some, you have to put money aside to, for your business. You just have to, you can't make 10,000 and, and, and not put it back into your business in any business. You just can't, you always have to be putting money into your business. If it's a restaurant is doing well, there comes a point where they have to upgrade lighting, the bar, the countertops, you know, plates, whatever. It's, it's just, it's just business. You have to, you have to put, you have to put back into your business. So, um, I decided to do that to nourish my, my, cause I had such a big clientele. Like, a, I said in the first year I sold 50 homes, 52 homes. It was, it was like once a one house a week, literally. And the next year again, and again, it just, it never stopped. I'm like, I have all these people, these families that, um, know, like, and trust me, I got to nourish that. So, so that's why I did it. You, you have to be just, Put some money aside and it will you'll get it back like in multitudes so um so that's what i did that's that's so cool and i think you know even just the, the you know two really important concepts that lend itself to what you just unpacked there is investing into yourself and your business you know mm -hmm. investing into yourself in terms of a coach and and being able to follow a proven blueprint the fact that you trusted the process that they provided because so many people will say well hey they're telling me to do this but maybe it might not work for me and, and you just went all in on that and you know investing into your business because i see so many people that were get that 10k commission and they go buy a louis vuitton bag or something like exactly. that and it's like mm -hmm. you know are you spending something that's going to be a liability or do you do you want to invest back into getting more business um exactly. i think i think that's that's so beautiful and, and the fact that you just committed to that process and uh looked at it with the long-term vision now you know the next thing that i think is really cool that you've done and this is something i see so many people overlooking is leveraging Google reviews. And mm -hmm. that is your storefront. And I see yes. so many agents that have been in the industry, even like yourself, you know, 20 years and they've got five reviews. Well, you know, looking at consumer behavior, if you're looking for a restaurant tonight, you're probably gonna look at the top steakhouse in your market and you're gonna look at the one with hundreds or thousands of reviews and say, that's probably a good place to go. And people exactly. are no different when it comes to agents. So do you wanna talk about First, why you started to dive a little bit more into Google and then what you actually started to do in order to build that aspect of your business up? 
Yes. So um, I realized, okay, this definitely, I need to work. I need to get these reviews. I need to get these people. So I was doing a lot of like the just sold in on Facebook and like that kind of got, I was doing that all the time. That's, that's the other thing. So I started again, nourishing the people that already um, knew me on social media. Um, but then I realized, okay, I have to get, you know, I have to use Google. I mean, I have to put, set up my Google business page. I think Mike, it could have been, I'm not sure, but I think it could have been one of your, your, um, ideas, like obviously like something that you recommended. And then I'm like, um, on one of the videos before I joined EXP that I saw, so I'm like, okay, well, I got to do this. And I'm like, okay, step by step. I think it, maybe I just did it. It, it was a little bit hard. Um, yeah. Or maybe it was my coach, actually. I don't know. The point is, I followed the expert. I said, these people are telling me to do it. I got to do it. It makes sense. And then I just started getting, trying to get some reviews from the past, or at least mm -hmm. like the past recent months. And then, um, and then just consistently asking for the review, like uh, right before closing, the day of closing, the day before and everything's clear to close, everybody's happy. And then ask for it. Um, one day prior, because I realized also when I asked for it after closing and they're all happy and excited, they forget. But if I ask for it one day prior to closing and they're, everything's ready for tomorrow at 11 a.m., they're kind of happy and they're like, well, we're going to see Lily tomorrow or Sophia, who's my who's my daughter who works with me and my um, buyer's agent. They're like, okay, we, we better do it now. So, um, so I started doing that and just consistently again, um, just consistently asking for reviews. And also like not just the review part of it, but also putting up consistently putting up something on Google. So Google has helped me tremendously as lot as well to get new business. So I'm I'm I get people relocating um, to Maryland from different parts of the country and because they found me on Google. So, That's so definitely recommend it. And it's free. It's free. Yeah. The, my cousin was calling me. He's not an he's a home improvement. And he's like, how'd you do it? I said, just go to YouTube, you know, step by step, how to do the the business, Google my business. And um, can you all just do it? They'll ask some questions. You have to submit some paperwork to get approved by them. And that's it. And just continue. But just post. I told them, post. You remodel a bathroom before and after. Who cares if it turned out dark and the buffet? You'll start getting into it. You'll start improving yourself. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Don't wait for the video or the perfect. Oh, I didn't get my professional photographer. Who cares? Do it from your phone but keep on doing it. So that was a, um, a, a advice that I gave him like two days ago. He's not even in real estate, but yes, Google is amazing because that's it, so it cool. A hundred percent. And I, and, and mm -hmm. I think again, it's it, it, just like you said, it's free and there's mm -hmm. so many opportunities that, you know, you built your entire business for free. You know, you were, you were, mm -hmm. it, you know, obviously nurturing, it comes at a cost when you do it that way. But in the beginning you built it for free and you leveraged all these kind of pillar components that just take a bit of time, but start to build this more robust foundation of other areas that people are going to be able to find you from. And I think there's a lot of people with unturned stones that could be leaning into things like this and not leaving opportunities on the table. And I think that's a, a really great way to segue into content. And, you know, one of the things that I'm just so proud of you for is that, you know, you've been in the industry for, for 20 years or so, and you're always reinventing yourself. You're always adapting. You're always learning new things. And that one of the things that you see with so many people is they say they almost use their years of experience to compensate for the skill set where they're saying, well, I've been in the industry for 15 years. Well, mm -hmm. yes, but you've been reliving your first year for 15 mm -hmm. years. Like exactly. you're, you're not adapting. You're saying, I'm going to do it the way I've always done it. And well, it's no wonder you're struggling right now. But you're leveraging content, you're leveraging AI. Let's talk about that journey when it came to video, because I think that's going to be such a relatable component. The fact that just like myself, you were scared to get in front of the camera. You didn't know what you were going to say, but now looking at your Instagram and looking at everything else you're doing, building in a new studio, you've been consistent with it and it's generating business. So what did that process look like for you to start getting in front of the camera? So, um, it was, like I said, it was, um, uh, my stepson who said, I, you, you gotta do this. I'm going to help you edit this, the video. So he, that part kind of just took a huge weight off my shoulder. And, but he was also keeping me accountable. So he was making me like, he was texting me, where are my three videos? It's Wednesday. We haven't, I'm like, okay, okay. And so I had like, really, he was pushing me to do it. 
And, um, and he did it for me for the first year, like everything he did for me now, obviously he was, he was in college. So he graduated and, um, obviously he's not going to be doing videos for me, but, um, <laughs> he did help me. And then I just, you know, then once it, I realized this really works, I mean, I am in front of people, I'm getting new followers. Um, but again, Mike, also uh, one thing I, I, because it's all in here. So this, mm -hmm. the mental part of anything you do, like in, in, in life, any, any, um, venture that you start, you, it, there's a lot of things that block you here. There's fears. Of course, I was afraid of the camera, I was afraid of, um, not looking good. Oh, my eye went like that. My hair was like this. Oh, I didn't, you know, why like, just post it, do it right. Post, 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 because then you start getting, you start getting the consistency and you start mm -hmm. seeing, you'll see the results later, just like the gym. You're not going to get results if you go hit the gym every day for a week and then stop. It takes time. So, um, so I just, I had that meant that mindset. I'm like, I don't care if it's just my mom and my cousins and my people liking it. I'm not going to care about how many likes I'm just going to keep at it. Keep at it. I don't care if I did it well, if I did it, you know, if it turned out well or not, I was just being, I just wanted to do that three weeks. Like that was my commitment, three videos a week, three videos a week. And I just kept on doing it until I started getting better. And people were telling me, oh my gosh, Lily, I love your videos. Oh, they're so informative. Oh, my cousin wants to buy a house or whatever. Or even again, like if somebody finds me on Google, because I'm using a lot, uh, doing Google like um, every day, also like putting time into Google. Um, if somebody finds me and then sees my vid, that like I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok, and now I just recently started YouTube, which was um, kind of for some people they might be able to just jump into it right immediately. Um, for me, yeah, for me it was a kind of like once I started getting skilled at my vertical videos at talking, I said okay, now I gotta start doing the long form um, because of you and Vane, like tell me this is what you guys have to do. And, um, and yes, yeah, so far, so far I'm growing that. So, so that's kind of, that's new for me right now, but just again, pick, pick what's good for you. Like it could be Instagram. I post on TikTok, but TikTok is not what, what works for me. So for me, it's more, um, Instagram and just Instagram really. And then now I'm, I'm and, and Google, Google, and my, I post videos on Google as well. And now I'm working on YouTube. That's, that's incredible. And I think, you know, one of the really, really important things that you just kind of loosely said there is not getting caught up in the vanity metrics. Like you didn't care if you got five views and it was all family members. Like you just understood that this is something you need to do to go to that next phase mm -hmm. and you were going to do it no matter what. And over time, exactly. if you do it for long enough, you're going to get the results. And I think exactly it just comes down to that, that mentality that you have. And I think, you know, that's a, uh, it's been incredible to see your content evolve because it is a process and it is a journey and you need to find love in being able to improve over time. But before diving into kind of the next phase of this, I'd love for you to touch on content in different languages because you obviously speak mm -hmm. Spanish and I would love for yes. you to kind of, you know, talk to the people out there that maybe do speak another language, whether it be Spanish, Hindi, Punjabi, whatever it looks like, you know, how have you kind of woven that into your business as well? Yes, and and that's great, um, Mike, because I was like just doing everything in English. And my husband was the one who said, why don't you start doing this in Spanish? And it made a huge difference. So I was just doing the same video in English, translated to Spanish, and then do it in Spanish. So it was just the same thing. I was just doing English, Spanish, English, Spanish, and um, and, and just, yeah, it's, it's helped tremendously. And just, again, um, it helped, it lets people know that I speak both languages and, um, really, really that's it. I just started saying, yeah, why not? Why all we, why not do this also in Spanish? And, and I just, I managed both. And my clientele is like, I have Spanish only speaking people and I have obviously, um, English speak, speaking, but I'm able to service both. And I said, yeah, why not double? my um mm -hmm. possibility of, of clients and, and prospects and and i do get people from out of like that it's not a referral that they found me and they know i speak spanish but if i'm not doing the because of the videos so if i didn't start doing it maybe they feel like um oh, she you know i'd rather somebody who speaks spanish and maybe go somewhere else so so yeah it is important if you speak two languages 
do a video, even if it's, you know, even if it's just one, you know, do one in the other language and two in English, but um, it did work for me. That's, that's and so again, cool. that was, I, that my husband did tell me, and I should have listened to him as soon as he told me, but then it was also you and Vani, and that's mm -hmm. how I um, tumbled into you guys, like, well, Vani. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's, that's yeah. so cool, and I think, you know, one of the, the most amazing things about your entire story is that you truly have left no stone unturned. Like you went in with this mentality of, of even from day one, that this is the beginning of the rest of my life and I'm going to do whatever it takes uh, with no excuses. You know, you made full commitment. You took massive action. You left no stone unturned. You're always adapting and always learning. And I think that's such a beautiful thing because so many people stop learning when the repercussions are immediate, like back in school. But you've fallen in love with this process of always wanted to improve year over year. So, you know, before we start to bring this full circle, I'd love to ask you your advice for either a brand new agent getting started into the industry this year or somebody that's been in the industry for a few years and, and maybe has hit a plateau or aren't doing as well as they think they should be. What is your advice to somebody that's struggling right now or just getting started? Video 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 that's where we are right now um it sucks again like i'm not saying like oh i love doing videos <laughs> i'm like you know and sometimes i'm like oh today's just not the day just do it who cares if you, you don't have um your hair is not done for us i guess i don't know maybe for you guys it's different but for us we think about oh how do we look my face my hair my you know and we we overthink things just yeah. do just do it Another thing um, also, Mike, is also for me, what it was like the pre of the um, getting ready for the video and what am I going to wear? Did I wear the sweater already? Did I wear this shirt? I mean, whatever, you know, yeah. so I started doing this. I started doing this, this black turtleneck thing and um, I just found something that I like. I just bought several of these turtlenecks and I, you know, my daughter was the one who told me, so she said, hey, mom, have you heard of decision fatigue? It's like mm -hmm. you, you, you get tired of thinking, what am I going to wear, especially if you're going to be on video and you're doing it consistently. And you start thinking, nobody remembers what you wore, but still to, for me to make it easier and to just jump into immediate, put on my, my black turtleneck and I shoot my video and almost in all my videos, I'm wearing a black turtleneck. And um, so that made it easier for me to kind of take that part out of the equation. Like, what am I going to wear? And then just stop, put it in your head. Don't, who cares about your hair? Who cares if you, you know, stumbled on a few words or whatever, just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Just post it, post, post, post. And then you start getting better. And then you start feeling, okay, this is my angle. This is how I'm going to do it. This is the time of day that works for me. And you just start, you know, being consistent. And it just, it just gets part of your, it just, you know, part of your routine, like anything else. But yes, um, unfortunately people are going to, I wish there was something else I could say like, oh, you can be, you can do it um, without video. But now, now, nowadays, I don't think, I, me, me personally, like I just, I, I don't see how, like, just the post is not enough anymore. Just mm -hmm. like the one picture post and first time home buyer tips. Yes, you can do that, but you have to do videos consistently. Important. Even if it's yeah, short, even if it's short, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, anything. Tip 100%. of the day, a story, a story. This is what happened to me today. I just went to this home inspection and blah, blah, something. But that's, I guess, what I recommend. I know it's not what everybody wants to hear. <laughs> but and, it's um, the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and again, that this is if you want to scale also, if you want to start, do it. If you want to scale, because you could be very successful without doing just on referrals and then just nourish your referrals. If you're like, I still don't want to do videos then, and you've been an agent for 10 years and things are, are maybe, or whatever amount of years and things are slowing down, go back to those people, make phone calls, start all over. Like I did in 2004 make phone calls that will keep you yes you can be successful you can have a good you know income and a good life but if you really want to scale if you want to take your business to the next level if you want to add six figures to your income you have to do videos i love that and and mm -hmm. i think you know it's even just cool the little the subtlety of picking it's like the steve jobs aspect pick the turtleneck and and just roll yeah. with it you know uh, remove it. Like I'm the same. I wear black t-shirts and basically every video and, and I just go and, and I, I try and remove, you know, as many 
variables that cause delay suck time and and delay me from basically taking action and you've done such a beautiful job at that and Mm -hmm. you know lily pulling this full circle you've just got such a magnificent story that i know is going to really hit home to a lot of people we are now partners you've got uh you know myself and benet and you and and you know we're this beautiful family and i'd love for you to kind of unpack to people that you know you were at a very traditional brokerage for so many years and then you made the leap of faith and i'd love for you to kind of talk to people about why you made that decision to partner over here at exp with our group and you know we can talk about what it's like for people to now align with the three of us yeah so so mike i was actually I, when it came to real estate and changing brokerages i wasn't open-minded i'm like i'm not moving this is i loved my office <laughs> i love the the even though i worked i was virtual before the pandemic So I became virtual because me personally, I don't get distracted at my house. Um, I don't watch TV until after hour, like after 7.30 PM or 8 PM, whatever. So I I just don't get distracted. Um, And for me, I was just, again, many years before the pandemic, I was just already virtual working from home. Um, I had a virtual assistant as well. So I was just used to everything, everything being um, in the cloud, like digital, digital. I wasn't using paper anymore. We all use electronic signatures and all that stuff. So um, it was nice to have the the offices, my brokers, my ex broker is the um, biggest broker, Remax broker on the East coast amazing person amazing i mean brilliant um the the office everybody the atmosphere everything it was really a really great company but the way i was seeing it was uh, i was using like my, my business mindset um we all know that when people you know well maybe not everybody but just so new realtors know and everything people buy people buy you they mm-hmm. don't buy the name. They don't buy Remax, Long and Foster, or Compass, or they buy you. If they know you or like you, or you, they, or if it's a brand new prospect and you do a good presentation and they feel that connection, like I, I like her, I, I, I want to use her. And again, if they can go back and like Google you and look at your stuff, then even better. I mean, that's why you have to have that because the new, the people that already know you, of course, they like you, they know you, they've heard that you were referred, but you got to have that for the people that kind of are. I like her, but does she really, you know, they can go support it. But anyways, um, the reason I went, um, you, I started following you and all your information was so good. And I'm paying a coach $18,000 a, a year. And I'm like, but I get this with Mike. And then you had stuff like, okay, well, here's my, my course that you could get. Um, which again, I, I was going to buy it. Cause I'm like, this is where everything, this is where everything's going. Um, but then one video you did about like how you can double your income if you knew like a niche, if you had two languages by doing videos in both languages. And, and that's when I saw you and Vanna and, and, and I started learning a little bit more about EXP and, um, and I know it's cloud-based and everything. I'm like, well, I'm virtual anyway. Um, I work with my team virtually anyway. So let me check this out. Just mind blowing. I mean, it was just mind blowing the, um, I'm like, I can get. I can, so there's two aspects of real estate. There's obviously the, the part where you have to, you know, you need a mentor if you're new to teach you how to do contracts and do everything, but how do you get that first client? You got to market yourself. And so that's why you need coaching. And that's why you need a mentor. You need somebody to help you who's already done it. So you're not spending thousands of dollars in trial and error, because that's another thing. I did spend a lot of money on things that didn't work a lot. I mean, thousands of dollars on things that did not work on Zillow, on this, like nothing. So, um, so with that, I'm like, this makes sense. I get Mike who I've been following. I felt like I already knew you. Um, I get to jump on his calls. <clears throat> then that with Vane also, who's like the Spanish you. <laughs> version yeah. of you. I'm like, I get both of these amazing marketers that can help scale my business at no cost. Like, and everybody's sharing everything because everybody wants, you know, we, we all want to, we help each other because we all help you. We, we're all going to, you know, if you do well, I do well, the company does well. And then, you know, the, the, um, the, uh, different, uh, being able to have different streams of income with, with the XP was just like, I'm like, 
this is a no brainer for me. I mean, worst case scenario, if I don't take advantage of all the tools that eXp offers and everything that I can do to generate um, different um, it, residual income or, or different a source of income, I'm still, I can just still be at eXp, have the opportunity to do all that, but my business is still gonna run the same. But I have this opportunity for when I want, I'm ready to now start doing this. I'm ready to now <laughs> focus a little bit about this. I have it there. So it was a no brainer for me. And then I'm like, I don't need to, I mean, I already have this coach for free and everything that like changes and okay, now this is the way to do this. Hey guys, we just, there's this new AI and we, it's amazing. It's powerful. We got to use it. And we are all, you know, learning how to use it together and doing courses together and being able to plug in on the marketing part for on the, on the marketing for yourself. Like how do I scale my business? That's where the, the wolf pack comes in. And then again, on the business side of it, like the contracts and like my broker and wait a minute, the buyer's financing fell through or my, I need an ex like, and any questions that you have with contracts and changes and, you know, you always have everything EXP, the EXP world, you walk in and it's always there. Yeah. And the brokers, I mean, you walk in and you can have, you can ask the brokers, all month, even on a Saturday or Sunday with my brokers, amazing. He, my ex, he would have taken a call, but sometimes I'd be like, I don't want to call him on a Sunday you know, or, or I know he's on vacation and he always did, again, he did have manners and stuff, but with the XP, it's just so easy without feeling like, oh, I'm so, so sorry to call you. You know, you feel so bad because you walk in and you, you know, take a ticket and you speak to the broker and whatever questions you have or, or, you know, and these, everything else, you know, or classes or updates on contracts. And so you have, I have both for basically, you know, so I have all more tools, more tools just to list to also not just uh, market myself, but market my, my listings. So I have everything and it just, it was just a no brainer. And the, and the, and then again, it's, it's like, if you want to grow, if you want to help our company, um, you know, we, we will compensate you. So, and we all have that opportunity. So yeah. it's not just for Lily. It's not just, oh, cause you're, you know, we're no, it's for everybody. And we all, you know, if we, if the company grows, we all benefit Our, you know, our, the stock grows, our shares grow. I mean, we all benefit. So yeah. So that's why it was just like, I got to do this. It, it was hard, just the emotional part. Cause you're, mm -hmm. you know, I had such a great relationship. And again, he's just an amazing, brilliant man, but I had to do that. It was just a business decision and it's been amazing. I love it. I think, you know, your your story is is beyond inspiring, Lily. And again, the fact that, you know, people now have the opportunity to get your help, which lends itself to also getting Benet, also getting myself and be able to have three people that have a vested interest in helping you all that have proven it themselves for free is so impactful. And again, this is why, guys, I want to make sure that you do click the link in the description to book a call with Lily, because the next, you know, 12, 24 months are not going to be easy. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. Changing your environment and, and who you're around is one of the most important things you can do to take your business and learn from people that have done it multiple times over for so many other people. And, and again, it's just an absolute blessing to be a partner with you, Lily. And you, I can't Michael. wait to see your, your journey continue as you build out your new studio and, and continue to be consistent with your content. Thank you, Mike. It's just, it's amazing. Again, like, um, like you and, and Vanya is, are a blessing. Um, just being able to have this group, being able to get in touch with you, being able to get in touch with Vane, whoever wants to get in touch with me or like, you know, get in touch with me. I can get in touch with Mike. And, but yeah. you know, it's, it, the, the thing is, it's just, it's, um, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Everything and being part of your, um, group is just, it's just amazing. I mean, I, I, I don't have, uh, words besides that to just say you have to invest in yourself as well so you can get more business and that's the coaching or that we have with with the wolf pack like the the branding of yourself and how can i get more business and again there's the the aspect of the contracts and all that stuff and exp that is just right there i mean and it's just amazing just being able to log in right there if i have a question or if i need something i just walk into my office here where i'm sitting right now and i walk in virtually into the office and you know, get help or get answers or fix whatever needs to be fixed or whatever it is, instead of, you know, driving and going to the traditional office. It's just, it's amazing. It really I is. love it.
Well, again, mm -hmm. it couldn't be more grateful, Lily. And, and again, guys, I'm going to make sure to link all of Lily's incredible content below. Use that as a reference for getting mm -hmm. yourself started on, on video. And, and uh, make sure you check out her channel and subscribe because I know that it's going to be consistent and I know it's going to be incredible. Thank you so much again, Lily, for everything. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you. And by the way, I do have, I mean, obviously our time is up, but um, for people that are afraid or, or think like, oh, I can't talk. I think I should now start. I am ready to start like really teaching other people. I'm like, it's not, I'll give you the tools. Yeah. You do it with your phone. You do it with an Amazon light and some other um, tools that I have to make that anybody, if I could do it, anybody could do it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Again, now you have an opportunity to make that happen. So guys, yep. book your call with Lily, an absolute Absolutely. rock star and just a beautiful soul that's here to help you. And I will be along for that journey as well. So thanks so much yep. for tuning in. Please make Thank sure to like, much. comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys yes. in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.